morning, good morning. I cannot believe I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Hold on to your knickers. Happy 100th vlog. What? Like what? I cannot even comprehend that there's been 100 vlogs and what a vlog this is going to be. Trust me, I have got a serious, serious treat in store for you and for me in all honesty. It is really rather early. We are up in town, have actually had a terrible journey. It's taken me just over two hours to get into London, but I've just arrived at Eccleston Place and we are heading into Wild by Tarte for a makeup masterclass with Estee Lauder. I am so excited. As you know, I absolutely adore the brand. I love Wild by Tarte. I'm really rather hungry and I could murder a black coffee. This morning, my coffee grinder was like Nyee! and I went to go and find the coffee beans. No more coffee beans. So Leonora has not had her coffee this morning, believe it or not. So I'm heading into Wild by Tarte. I'm then heading over to, I feel like I'm just gonna come out and say it. We are heading to the Cartier Racing Awards on Thursday evening at the Dorchester, obviously with Cartier themselves, and it is a dream come true. I cannot even begin to tell you, I have dreamt about going to this event, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Jenny Packham is addressing me. I just, I can't actually cope. I can't cope. Uh, like how is this happening? So I'm heading over to Mount Street later on to Jenny Packham to go and try on some dresses and pick the dress that I will be wearing on Thursday evening. I'm then on Thursday morning having a full head of highlights because I'm in desperate need. The hair is going up, I think. Just, you know, it's easier. And um, Tim on Vine Jewelry is obviously dressing me for the evening, so that will show off the jewels to perfection. And then we are going to be heading to the Cartier racing awards together anyway as you can probably hear we are in the hustle and bustle of london i've got to trot down eccleston place to get to wild by tart so let's go and do a makeup masterclass with estee lauder and just have the best time and the best vlog the hundredth vlog i can't believe it oh my goodness me this looks incredible <gasps> Literally a dream. Look at this setup. So I'm here this morning with Estee Lauder and we've got an incredible makeup masterclass. And I am absolutely in a dream. This looks insane. Here. So I've just been colour matched for all of the different foundations. I'm so excited to try the new Futurist skin tint. I've got the foundation, the serum, I've got the gorgeous blusher, the translucent powder, all the contours, the highlighters. And then look at this setup. We've got the lipsticks, the lip liners, eyeliners, the eyeshadow palette of absolute dreams, all of the skincare for Russia. A, an amazing mirror. Hi, and then look at these gorgeous girlies over here. 
absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is amazing. I am absolutely blown away by the setup. Their entire collection is also personalized. We've all just had our color matching done and we're now set up at our little stations with all the brushes, the skincare, all of the makeup that you can shake a stick at, a few new launches, as well as the most delicious green juice. Mm. It's got a real hint of jalapeno pepper. It's gonna fight off any of those bugs that might be lingering. And I cannot wait to listen to the Katie Jane Hughes Makeup Masterclass. She's literally the best of the best, so I cannot wait to learn all my tips and tricks from her. sort of natural shadows on her face already. So I'm just gonna go right there just a little bit and do the same on the other side. And this is kind of my favorite way to do little bits of contour on people and even on myself is just to keep it really subtle and just to one point and create an almost like little sort of pinpoint placements of shadow because at the end of the day makeup is all shadow and light. It's just playing with playing with the sort of you know the, the illusion of that. I'm gonna take that same brush that had that little bit of tint in there and I'm gonna push gently until it blends. And again, I think with pressure of brushes, pressure of hands, every single product that you apply, the step after that should be lighter in touch than the step before in the set in the respect of your pressure. Because actually, if you're pushing too hard and sort of blending things in with force, you're taking them off as you're putting them on. So that's really important to know. You shouldn't be moving too much when you're applying makeup. If the skin is sort of bouncing all over the place, you might be pushing a little harder than what you might need to. Um, and my favorite little hack, that I love and that I live by is that if ever I feel like the blush is looking a little much, I'll take my first my first complexion product. Um, it has a tiny bit of that bronzer shade in it that I use to contour with, so I'm actually just gonna take a cloth and just buff it in there. Excess product out of your brush before you keep working with it. However, um, this brush now, because it's got a little bit of that concealer in it, is gonna be my perfect little, you know, pulling back on the blush brush. But literally what's left in the brush, that sentence is, Remember that when you do your makeup. What's left in my book? I can use that. I am going to do a little eye. I'm going to start with brown pencil and then sort of transition into a black pencil. And I'm actually going to use the same brush that I used with the concealer shade that was contour, uh, buffing it into my little cloth. I'm going to just start on the outer part of the eye and just do like a little sort of smudge like that. And then I'm going to take that little brush and while it's still movable, I'm going to move it with a cold pencil in the corner of the eye. So I'm going to sort of do, this is like a halo eye silhouette, which I think is really flattering on all eye shapes. And it's like a perfect sort of little, it's like a perfect festive look that doesn't take too long. And you do definitely want to have a little play with how, you know, the inner corner is. It might be, you might not like too much on the inner corner, so I would definitely start with a little bit and then add more. But the outer corner should definitely be higher contrast than the inner corner, unless you're trying to go for like a squirky kind of interesting detail. Again, getting as close to the lash line is key because you obviously want the depth there. Um, and just really gently smudging it out. The place in which you hold your brush will actually change how it blends for you. If you hold close to the top, you might find that can blend harder. If you hold close down to the end, you get more of a painterly approach and your sort of pressure changes. So if you ever feel like the pressure and you're struggling to get your pressure right, change position of where your hand is on the brush actually does make a difference. This is where it gets really fun. We've got this like primed base with a little bit of a you know a sticky product, a pencil. Like do you ever find that when you blend, when you're blending eyeshadow in, you're getting like lines from the blend? It's because the pressure is possibly too hard. So you can keep the skin as still as possible while you're doing makeup to better. So I'm just blending that into those areas and just taking what's left on that brush up into that sort of brow bone area for a bit more of a drama. And again, the more of this powder that I put, the sort of more long wearing it's gonna get. And I really encourage just like 
apply one thin layer, go to the other side, come back and apply more, you know? Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit more confection uh, to refine everything, to sort of bring everything into more of a, more of a sort of snatch state. Um, and, so the, and this is that point in the floor where I was like, made a full coverage foundation. I think more full coverage things go further than sheer things because you can obviously shear them down with serums and moisturizers and things like that. And I obviously think this foundation has been around for so long that it's really stood the test of time and it's still an amazing foundation today. So again, I'm being really, really delicate with my pressure and I'm skimming it around the eye to like almost tighten what I've done on the eye and like blend it close by but not into it because it's actually going to give the eye even more contrast and even more pop um, if you're skimming a little bit of what's if the complexion product close to the eye. This is a really good shape. Um, and then a little bit around the mouth to sort of add a bit more cough to see you and that's the right shape. Look good. Lip shader. Um, so if you ever like a little bit of a smudgy pouty lip, your little brow pen, the powdery part of the brow pen on the inside is great for that. Oh, this is a nice circle color here. On anything that you, yeah. May I ask a question yeah. in terms of the contour? Yeah. I think mine's maybe slightly too dark, but I do like to contour my nose. Yeah. How would you How would you do that? Would you prep the brush? I would prep the brush totally, and I actually would for a nose contour, depending on the shade, if it's too dark, what I would suggest actually is to mix a 50-50 ratio or even an 80-20 ratio with 80% being your concealer shade and then 20% of that darker shade. Amazing. Um, and then create sort of like a, you know, like a taupey sort of sandy color um, and just apply a little bit and gradually add it. Okay. So and I would definitely do that. And may I ask at what point, yeah. what, what point do you do that? Do you do that before the foundation or would you do that after? Uh, I think it's preference, but I think before is always good because then you could always like, Fix you know, <laughs> yeah, you can always like, you know, bring a little bit of complexion into the mix and sort of pull it back. Um, but I also think that um, adding a little bit more later is always good because it's like adding those thin little amounts throughout is like really advantageous to control and having that ability to adjust as you go. Quite amazing. Thank you. I 
I went with a tiny bit of a wing. I cheated a yeah. I went slightly upwards. Yeah. I'm really quite liking it. I like that. This is so different for me. Yeah, like, it looks this so is nice. so different for me. Model over here, dark hair, dark features, absolutely stunning. What did you think of it? It was amazing, so good. I'm like, look, I've got so many different ways of doing my makeup now, and like tips and winging tricks. my eyes. I love it, and also the brushes, like prepping the brush, priming the brush. I'm definitely gonna take that away. Didn't know any of that. Like, All on, use the less the better, quick as possible. But it's been so much fun actually taking time and really, really learning how to do makeup professionally. Obsessed. Look at this chia seed pudding. It's even got little gold flakes in and I just can't get over the setup. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness me, what a way to start a Tuesday morning. And I cannot quite believe that this is all to keep. I'm just absolutely blown away by today. And you know what? I really, really love my makeup. It's so different, yet it's so natural. And I've learned so many different tips and tricks, which I will be telling you about. Gosh, look at this one. She's got all the breakfasts lined up. I'm so jealous. Look at the mess so I've made. Jealous. Well. <laughs> my gosh. Now to try and get this all in the bag. How are we going to do that? What an incredible morning with Estee Lauder at World by Tart. I learned so much and I'm actually really, really impressed with my makeup. It was quite a fast masterclass as you would have been able to um, see in here. So I was a bit like, oh, normally I would sort of play with a product so that I could really learn and understand it. Um, but I learned so many tips and tricks with the brushes, where to place eyeshadow, how to blend, when to even use the product. I just feel like the makeup in the beauty world is just forever evolving and there are just so many tips that you can do to really just change your makeup game and really lift something or make it look a little bit more sculpted or create shadows and light it's all about playing essentially with the shadows and light so i loved it and the goodie bag <gasps> the goodie bag i feel like it looks really bronze there but when i'm in the light it looks really really even so please excuse if i look like i've got a mark up here in the light i haven't um when i get home we are going to do the most almighty unboxing of the goodie bag because my mind is blown so so generous and um, i can't wait to get home and actually start playing with the makeup anyway we are now heading over to mount street to <laughs> the one the only, someone wake me up, someone pinch me, Jenny Wagon! I literally cannot wait, I cannot believe it. Hopefully I fit in the dresses. They are PR samples, so there are two dresses that I think are going to be appropriate for the Cartier Awards. One is black and one is white. So we will go and take a look and fingers crossed they fit because PR samples do tend to be rather small, um, but nevertheless, they are breathtaking. So let's go and try them on with my very new and fancy makeup look. <laughs> gowns oh my goodness me 
you've got the iconic Kate Middleton dress. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, I am just in love. Look at the cape, the detailing of the sequins. <gasps> The shimmer, oh, the shape, everything is just mesmerizing. This is the outfit of the day. So I'm wearing the Holland Cooper chocolate sweater dress with a pair of long chocolate boots, my dual saddlebag, and then a vintage Max Mara coat over the top. Again, obsessing over this makeup. It's so different, yet it is so beautiful. Oh, I'm living a dream. Home sweet home. I must say, I'm feeling I don't know, I'm feeling so tired this afternoon. I don't know whether it's because I've not had my normal amount of caffeine today, but that's terrible if that is the case. Hi, do you want to come and say hello? Oh, a lot, a lot is very needy. Did you miss mama? Did you miss mama? Well, you've got lots of burrs in your ears. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Lancelot, you're literally covered. Okay, that is literally my next job. Is to detangle and brush your ears and get all of these burrs They're all over you, little manny. But first, I promise you we would do a unboxing of this mega Estee Lauder goodie bag. First of all, their branding is just so iconic and so chic. That beautiful gold logo is just absolutely divine. Lancelot wants to get his paws mm -hmm. on my goodie bag, but it's not for you. No, you're beautiful without makeup. Yes, you do not need skincare. You have the most beautiful face. Right, he's going down and we are going to unbox this together. So they included an absolutely beautiful little makeup bag. And in all honesty, I actually couldn't fit all of the products that they so generously gifted each and every person there today. Like this is, this is crazy as far as gift bags go. So I think I'm gonna talk through these items now. A product that needs absolutely no introduction is this. Now this is Estee Lauder's Advanced Night Repair and this is the big bottle. This is 100 mils of literal liquid gold. It is absolutely stunning. So <laughs> the boys are having their zoomies. If I switch that there, you can see them. Uh, excuse me, you're ganging up on Lancelot. That's not kind. Odzi, be kind. Oh, they're so naughty. So, as I said, the advanced night repair. I've then got the Estee Lauder Set Refresh Perfect Makeup Mist. I'm thinking that this is like a setting spray, or if you want to just have like a refresh throughout the day. Let's have a little spritz. Oh, oh, the scent. Oh, wow, that is absolutely divine. Gosh, I feel just instantly revived. Okay, then we have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cleansing Balm. Now, I've never tried this before, and I've really, really wanted to. Apparently, the consistency is amazing. Look at that, it really is literally like a balm. Oh, oh divine. Divine it seems to be my favorite word at the moment. <laughs> Used to be exquisite and still is, but Divine is moving on up there. Then we have the Revitalizing Supreme Plus. Now this is a youth power cream. I tell you who is going to want to get their mitts on this is my mother. It's so special today. I just feel like with things like this, it just brings back so many memories about my grandmother. Her favorite things in the world were Estee Lauder lipsticks and Guerlain soap and Today, it was just a real moment where I went to go put the lipstick on and I had a bit of a wobble in all honesty. It was so strange. I just remember taking my grandmother through Harrods and she'd say, darling, we must stop off at Estee Lauder. I need lipsticks. And uh, yeah, it was so funny. Anyway, I'm not quite sure why I'm telling you that, but um, yeah, it was, uh, it was so special. Anyway, then we have the Translucent Soft Glow. Now this is a sheer flattery loose powder. And what I love is that it comes with a little poof on. 
I don't know what this would be called, but like a little poofy thingy. And then another thing that I think is such a fantastic design feature is that they have the stopper. So this little compartment here is the stopper. So your loose powder doesn't go everywhere and you can ensure that it stays in that compartment because a few of my other loose powders, um, once you take that plastic bit off the top, all hell breaks loose underneath <laughs> and then you end up with so much of the powder in the part that you actually want to either pop your sponge or beauty blend or even your brush um, and this way it has kept perfect so I love that again the packaging is so elevated and elegant it's extremely glamorous then I have I think now my favorite highlighter I can't quite believe I've just said that, but can we take a moment to look at this color? It's this golden, almost like a bronze undertones. And the shimmer is absolutely, hang on a moment, I need to show this to you. Really beautiful. I'm gonna pop that on my hand, just so that you can see that. Look at that shimmer. It is absolutely stunning and is going to become a firm favorite in my new makeup bag. Then in this bag here, we still have the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream Supercharged Gel Cream. I'm actually going to put this to one side because this is one of my mother's favorite products and I think that this would be a really gorgeous, bless you, a gorgeous stocking filler. Then we have, my most surprising product is the Soft Touch Brightening Skin Concealer. I love the packaging, I love the applicator, and it's just so incredible how long lasting it has been. I've had this makeup on since I obviously did it with you this morning. I've been here, there, and absolutely everywhere. And my eyes, I don't think it comes to anybody's surprise that I am really rather tired at the moment. and. I look fresh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Then the last product I have in the bag that actually couldn't fit in the makeup bag is this gorgeous, look at that, it's like a dusky, oh, say hi to yourselves. <laughs> it's one of Estee Lauder's blushes and it's in this gorgeous dusky pink absolutely love it so this is called their pure color envy and it comes with a sculpting brush and this is in 140 alluring rose mm, beautiful then inside my makeup bag i've got the futurist soft touch brightening concealer now this is actually going to be used as God, we've really got the mcschneezels down here you're right all the McSneezels. Ah, okay. So, Lance Knot and I are going to show you. So this is one of their concealers and it's actually in a much darker color so that you can actually use it as a contour. So you can really create warmth and depth on your face using this very product. And I was so astonished by how the makeup artist showed us what to do. And it was really about actually creating definition underneath your foundation and doing it before you put coverage on your face. This is your witching hour. Boys, we have like another hour and 40 minutes. No, no, don't even look at me. There is like, Wiggy is doing his F-O-O-D dance. It's not dinner time yet. No. Oh, the screaming and the eyes that are going on here is so bad. Look at this. They're so bad. What is going on? Wiggy is balancing on my foot. Lancelot's up here. Rafi is trying to get my attention. <laughs> it's all happening down here. So, as I was saying, so this is in shade 5W. And I just want to be able to show you the colour. Trust me, a little bit goes a long way. And it is such a 
gorgeous, gorgeous consistency. And then what I would do is I would use that on the points where you would want to contour. And you can really create such a golden and sculpted makeup look. So that was that. And they also gave it to me in a darker color as well, um, depending upon what time of year it is and if I have a suntan. So that is gonna come in very handy in December when we are in Barbados. Then when it comes to foundation, now this is their iconic double wear. If you don't know about Estee Lauder's double wear, you need to add it to your basket because this is iconic and probably one of the best foundations I have ever used. Now a product that they have just launched is their Futurist Skin Tint Serum. And I feel like this is going to be my everyday. I just want to show you what the bottle looks like because it is so beautiful and I really like how they have designed the applicator. It's actually in a pipette, so it acts as a skincare because it has such beautiful botanical ingredients in it as well as SPF 20. So it's a product that you can use so many different ways. It's extremely versatile. You can wear it as a serum, you can wear it as a primer, you can wear it as a foundation. I actually think I'm going to be using this every day um, as a foundation because it's quite lightweight however you can cover any blemishes but it allows for seeing sort of like your personality in a way I really love showing my freckles on my face however I definitely want to hide any pesky pimples and this is going to do just that so I love this and for reference I got this in 2n1 desert beige <laughs> then we have oh the mascara, I had not tried the mascara before and I think this may have actually overtaken my legendary lashes. You heard it here. Just the thickness and the length and the drama that this mascara does was amazing. Now this is called the Turbo Lash in Black. Then we have some gorgeous lip liners. Now the lip liner that I'm wearing right at this moment in time is a lip liner called Spice. It is so beautiful. It's extremely long lasting. And I'm not going to put anything on my lips now just so that you can see the color on the outskirts of my lips. It is such a beautiful color for this time of year, very autumnal. It's really, really tonal with lots of different looks. Then you've got the red. Now, as it is coming up to a party season, they have very kindly included their red, and this is their double wear, stay in place, 24 hour lip liner in 018 red. So I cannot wait to try that out. This is a little bit more of like a plummy color. So again, this is the double wear, and it is in fact in plum. <laughs> Good guess, Leonora. Um, and then they have included a black eyeliner and a brown eyeliner. And the brown eyeliner was the one that we used today in the masterclass, and I'm absolutely obsessed. Now, a trick that I use a lot is using my bronzer as eyeshadow. But one of the things I find that at the very end of the day, I can see creasing from where my eyelids have been, you know, from where I've been blinking and where I have my skin on my eyelids. But today that has not happened. So I think it's to do with the skincare that I used and the eyeshadow that I used and actually blending in the eyeliner as part of the eyeshadow look. And this is just stunning. I also really, really like the smudger at the other end. So those are going to come in extremely handy. Then we have a selection of their lipsticks. Again, today I popped on the, doo -doo -doo, I put on the covertable. I was gonna say like convertible then, but right. Let's pop this on and then you can see the color and I think it will really match in well. That be, oh God, this color is stunning. And these are matte lipsticks. A little bit of a different color for me but I think that it really makes my blue eyes pop let me know what you think in the comments down below so that is one of the lipsticks that um, I need a I need a I need a, a tissue bear with me just a moment 
I love that lipstick. It's also so soft and really nourishing on the lips. It definitely does not dry your lips out. And that's something that's really incredible about Estee Lauder. It's all about the ingredients and actually it's skincare led. So you know that when you're putting something on your skin, it's really, really looking after it. So then they also included the colors La Noir, Thrill Me and uh, Disguise. I actually think I'm gonna pop on a tiny bit of the Disguise over the top of this one and it's just going to lighten it slightly and it's a bit more of a nudie color i really like that it's a gorgeous mix between the two so look at the florals don't they look so pretty absolutely stunning oh please excuse the lighting in here as well it is absolutely frightful it's about 4 30 and the sun is setting we are into those winter evenings ladies and gentlemen put those cozies on and light that fire so those are the lipsticks then we have again actually part of their skincare range this is the futurist peptide power serum primer so this is what i put on first today and I just want you to see the color of this. It is literally like liquid pearls. There we go. And now you can see how beautiful that product is. And it leaves the most stunning shimmer. And that is going to keep all the moisture in your skin and it's full of peptides. So incredible product right there. Then, the brows. Now this is called their Brow Multitasker 3 in 1. Okay, so you've got the brow stick as you would think at the very end. And I really, really like the shape of this because you can get into those nooks and crannies and actually create brow brush strokes, which is so important when you're trying to fill in your brows. Then it has a powder section. So I'm not quite sure how to get to. Oh, oh, oh wow, look at that. So that is the powder section. So if you fill in with the liner, you can then just go over the top of them with the powder, which is in this little interesting cranny here. So he lives in there. And then you've got the brush section at the very end. And you can then brush your eyebrows into the exact place that you want them. My brows today have been epic. I didn't do them myself. I'm not going to <laughs> take credit for these, but they are beautifully filled in. They're such a gorgeous shape. And then they were set with this. Now this is called Brow Now, Stay in Place Brow Gel. Amazing. And I would actually use this on a daily basis when I'm not actually going to do anything with my brows. I just want to have a clear gel that you just brush your eyebrows up with. Great little applicator and something that you can keep in your handbag or even in your makeup bag. Then I saw this at the very end and I wish I actually put this on first. Now I don't want to ruin the applicator because it's so beautiful and pink. Can we just take a moment to look at this stunning packaging is this gorgeous little pink lip gloss look at the <laughs> logo at the end it is so similar to actually my logo with the l at the end and this is called their pure color envy nighttime rescue lip oil serum now our lips get the brunt of things. We're eating, we're opening our mouths, we're speaking all day, we'll have germs, the weather, the air conditioning, the heating in the cars. Trust me, your lips get a battering and they need to be looked after. So this is going to do just that. And what beautiful packaging. Then we have the Lux Eye Shadow Palette. And this is the eye palette that I use today to create my eye look. And you've got that gorgeous, almost like coffee color at the bottom, and then some pinky copper and gold tones. And this is such a party palette, I love it. The shimmers, the glitters, and then you've got that matte color to create depth on your eyelids. Then we have the 
the brush set. I was blown away when they said that the brushes were included. And look at this gorgeous, like khaki green color that they've come in. <sighs> the absolute dream. I think I'm going to spend the evening just organizing my makeup bag, put in the items that I've automatically fallen in love with, put the makeup items aside that I need to, you know, have a little bit more of a play with and figure out whether they're going to become every single day staples in my makeup. These are just going straight in my makeup bag. I do need to give them a clean. And Elizabeth Scarlet, which is the designer and the brand that created the beautiful makeup bag, has also included this little pouch. Now, I think this is actually what the makeup bag came in. But what I always like to have is something where I can put my makeup brushes and then they're all together and you're not then searching through the makeup bag. So that is everything that came in the Estee Lauder goodie bag. As I said, I am blown away by their generosity. I'm also so excited to really test out a few of their brand new products. And something else that I learned today, but maybe you know this, did you know that in Duty Free at the airport, you can go and have Estee Lauder facial treatments at the airport? If I knew I could have a full-blown Estee Lauder facial in duty-free before I get on a plane, I would literally be living <laughs> in that concession stand. So if you are heading through the airport, if you do go past Estee Lauder, then go and take a look at what they're offering because their facial treatments and their skincare is phenomenal. And what a gorgeous pamper session before you fly almost like ready to fly. You will land the destination wherever you're going with glowing and gorgeous skin. So I'm actually, truth be known, going to spend the evening pottering about, having a little bit of a tinker, setting up my new makeup bag with all of my gorgeous goodies. I am going to save a couple of these items. I think I'm gonna save the eye repair cream and the revitalizing super cream for my mum for Christmas. So I will see you, do you know what, I'll see you tomorrow. I am, I've got a full day at home and then tomorrow I'm actually having my nails done. So many of you ask me where I have my nails done, what I ask for, what's the base color, how do they do the tips, what are the shapes, do I have extensions, do I have biab? Oh my goodness, so many questions. So I think the best thing to do is actually to take you with me. And then come Thursday, we are literally straight into Cartier Racing Awards Get Ready With Me the whole day. We're doing a full head of highlights. The hair is going up. I picked up the goods. The dress is beautiful. So I tried two dresses on. One, both of them are absolutely exquisite. One of them was just not quite right for the event. And the one that I have uh, decided to go with, I'm a little bit nervous because it's a touch tight in all honesty, just around sort of like my thigh area. It's also got a slit got a cape it might be glittery I feel like I'm giving too much away but it is so beautiful and like I said earlier it is genuinely a dream come true to be being dressed by Jenny Packham what is going on and to be going to the racing awards. But as I said, I will be taking you with me for the entire day. We are going up to the world famous Dorchester Hotel and the Cartier Awards is held in their grand ballroom. Because it is the Cartier Racing Awards, there are going to be lots of horsey people. So I feel like I will be in my element. Famous racehorse trainers, lots of owners, um, the whole Cartier team will be there and it will be so lovely to see them. I also know that quite a few of their like A-list uh, ambassadors will be there. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving too much away. So I will see you tomorrow. We'll then go and have our nails done and then it will be Thursday. And then we will be going to the Cartier Racing Awards together. And this whole vlog is my 100th vlog. That is wild. 
If there are any of you out there who have watched all 100 vlogs, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you have watched all 100 vlogs and you have not subscribed, then tut tut, <laughs> I am upset with you. Actually, do you know what? Do me a huge favor. Right now, this very moment, just go and take a little look of whether you have subscribed or not. If you go to the top of the page, it will say on the top right hand side, subscribe. And if it says subscribe, click it. If it already says subscribe, duh, scroll back down and watch this video. And thank you so much. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. I am just in Tree and Nail Spa having my nails done. Amazing, I can have them both done at the same time as well as working. <laughs> and I'm having a my normal French on the toes and an incredible French on the nails. So I actually have a very, very, very fine French tip. So it's very thin at the ends, high at the edges. And then what color is the base color? The Bubble Bath 22 OPI. And look at how pretty it looks. I will give you a close up in just a minute once we're finished. But they are amazing in here. And for everybody who asks me, these are the Leonora nails here at Tree and Nail Spa. So if you ask for Leonora's nails, this is what you will get. So you've got like the high sided French. 22 OPI and they are so pretty, very natural and just rather glamorous actually. So just got back from Tree and Nail Spa, <laughs> having a little bit of a cuddle by the Arga with the boys. Obsessed with my nails. This is my go-to for everything. It just goes with all outfits, all events, all occasions. It will also be perfect for Barbados. It will go with all of the different dresses over the next few weeks because things are about to get hectic, but um, it's so incredible. And I love Fam who owns the Tree and Nails Bar. Once I find somewhere I become rather loyal, I will go nowhere else, um, but they're so beautiful and uh, fresh ready for this week. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I've just arrived down in Henley. Oh, coming to Lamadusa for a full head of highlights and an updo, ready for today. Well, I've skipped ahead a few steps and also please excuse the naked mole rat look as per usual. I'm with my darling Steph. What have we done today? So we've gone nice, bright, blonde, ready for all the festive activities and work, obviously. Um, and then we've given you a nice little trim. It's all healthy, it's feeling good. She's looking after it. Um, and now I um, I will do the blow dry and then send you off to the master of hair up. And hair up. I cannot wait. Yeah, we've gone really rather blonde for all of the events coming up and obviously Barbados at the beginning of December. And wouldn't you say I've been a good girl looking after my hair? Yes. It's growing. She's been very good. It's the longest I've seen it and the healthiest I've seen it yes. since I've been doing your hair for about 10 years. So Yes. Yes. <laughs> good Proud. Golden star for me. The highlights looks great. And I can just stop. Exactly. Do a bottle try and get my face in there. Yeah, I'm happy with the light of the background. Yeah, it's like, I don't okay. know. It's so cool. And that is me ready for this year's Cartier Racing Awards. I literally feel like Cinderella. This dress is truly breathtaking. It is adorned in crystals. Look at that sparkle. It's got this gorgeous cutout detail here. It's got the beautiful cape on the back. I'm having a real moment. Honestly, I feel like I'm living in a dream world. Someone pinch me. The Cartier Racing Awards and being dressed by Jenny Packham. 
a dream come true. I am in the car and on the way. I've got my gorgeous gal with me. It's quicker to get home from London for Claudia than it is Thank from you, my right. house. Yeah. <laughs> I am in my dress. We've got John, the knight in shining armor, driving this evening. It is the most miserable night, but trust me, nothing could dampen my mood this evening. I am ready to sparkle in this just breathtaking dress. It's almost like this light beige colour and then of course it wouldn't be a Jenny Packham without a serious sparkle to it. And I think it is the perfect dress to wear to the Cartier Awards. I hope you would agree with me. And then I've got these beautiful, beautiful pear-shaped drop diamond earrings that are actually my mother's. So I did in fact have to call her and say, would you mind if I could possibly borrow them? And I'm um, very lucky she said yes. Alessio has done the hair up to perfection and I feel ready. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious. I cannot even begin to tell you what this guest list looks like. I know because I used to actually um, organize institutional and commercial events uh, within the Cartier events team. So I know what this guest list looks like and it is going to be the most insane weekend. That is my mother checking in on me to make sure that I look okay. <laughs> Let's actually see what she says. Hi. What, what do you think? Do I look okay? You're looking Oh, thanks, mommy. I'm actually vlogging. Say hi to everybody on YouTube. <laughs> Mommy's like, don't vlog me. Okay, so I'll come back in a moment. I'm just going to catch up with mama and I'll be back. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous, I just am, but I think it's excitement nerves. Um, I will obviously try and share as much as I possibly can. I've also got the world's smallest handbag, of which I can't fit anything other than a lip liner and a lip gloss. Of course I can't fit my camera and my phone in it, or any other makeup bits that I might need. Um, but as I said, I will try and share as much as I can. This evening is going to be just magical from every single which way. John Carter is also doing the flowers this evening, so you guys will be able to see just quite how talented he is. And I'm really excited to also see some familiar faces. Um, so let's go and do this. Wish me luck. just arrived popped to the loo quickly just to check on everything and we are just about to head in let's do Director, Monsieur L'Enfenu. 
My lords, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very warm welcome to the 33rd Cartier Racing Awards. 33rd, we're very, very proud of this fantastic celebration. Gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this, the 33rd Cartier Racing Awards. Well, another unbelievable year of racing has passed. Let's take a moment now to look back at the sights and sounds of a truly spectacular season. And Ace Impact is doing everything we hoped. Ace Impact has gone to victory. Yeah. Winning the Prix de l'Arme de Triomphe was a dream come true for me. I don't think I'll ever get used to walking through the Dorchester Hotel. It is something else. It takes luxury to a whole another level. The flowers, the ambience, the decoration, oh, just everything. Absolutely breathtaking. Look at these florals. Oh my goodness me. Someone just pinched me. In the car on the way home with John, it has been just the most memorable evening of all time. I must say, I am very much looking forward to my bed. <sighs> Someone pinch me. Pinch me. What an incredible evening. Just got home. What an evening. I don't think there are words to sum up tonight. I just feel so honoured, so privileged to have even been there this evening amongst those people, to be even on the table, the guest list. It's just funny how life goes round in a circle and I think it's gonna take me time to, in a way, process tonight, to be invited by Cartier, to be dressed by Jenny Packham in this breathtaking gown. Oh. What an evening. I told you the 100th vlog was going to be a good one. Anyway, I am going to go and get some sleep. I'm gonna probably sign off here. I'm not quite sure how long this vlog is at this point, but it has been a truly special one. I think probably one of the most special vlogs I have ever filmed from a personal real personal standpoint in like a you know I feel like it's a career moment I don't know I feel like I'm really getting it's a bit of a deep meaningful conversation it has gone quarter past one in the morning guys I wouldn't be able to do anything that I do without you and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful and tonight what a dream come true. Anyway, happy 100th vlog. If there are 
a few of you, which I hope there are, that may have watched all 100 vlogs, please leave me a comment down below and then I can send you a little personal message to say an enormous, from the bottom of my heart, from the very, very tippy, tippy toes of me, a massive thank you. Anyway, I truly hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have adored bringing you along for every single step of the way from day one until now. And um, all I can say is this is the beginning of the journey. We have got a whole hell of a way to go. Anyway, it is most certainly past my bedtime. I'm utterly exhausted. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get this dress off without help, but I'm sure I'll make it. Otherwise, you'll probably see me in the next vlog starting off <laughs> in this dress. Anyway, I hope you're all well. I truly hope you've enjoyed this vlog and as always, sending you so much love. <sniffs> Happy 100th vlog.